All right, so let's just start moving here side to side. Let's be moving and warming up while we talk. So we are gonna incorporate the use of a small, soft, unweighted ball today. If you don't have one, just go ahead and grab a folded up hand towel or a similar size pillow. You could even use a playground ball as long as it's soft and squishy. We're just gonna be using it for some feedback during some of the movements and for some of our core work on the floor. So taking it side to side, taking advantage of the fact that we're barefoot today, really working through your feet here. Good, now just plant your toes. Give me a little plie with those knees out over those toes. And I want you to just adjust. Everything we do needs to be tailored towards your body's needs. So if you need to turn your toes out or in more to make this comfortable, go ahead and do so. As you're bending those knees, let's press into that ball. You could also just press your palms together, get a little activation in that chest. Nice. Take this down, let's pulse it out. So right off the bat, let's get connected to our core muscles. So I want you to think about bracing the belly in towards the spine, but not holding your breath. You wanna make sure we're breathing freely, expanding our ribcage in 360 degrees. Good, take it back to that side to side step tap. Just take the ball into one hand and let's reach up and then We'll reach it down. Switch hands. Inhale, stretch. Good. Exhale, release it down. Nice. Again, one more time, both sides. Release it down. Switch it out. Inhale. Just taking a moment to get in to the body and the breath before we begin. So a lot of these movements take a little bit of concentration and focus. So let's make a connection between our mind and our muscles right now. Good. So from here, we're just gonna start with an alternating wide knee lift and lower. So taking a moment to get centered, to find your balance. Good, I want you to also think about pushing off through your feet here. Nice, starting to add a little bit more of a twist. Seeing if you can press the ball into your thigh and your thigh into the ball. So if your knees are coming a little lower, you can take it down here or raise a little higher. See what's working for you. Good. Now, you could stay with this layer or add a little bit more effort by taking a little plie in the middle. See what feels best for you. Good. That's it. Four more, feel that connection to the core as that knee and ball press together. Last two, and one, step it out wide, let's press. Good, that's it. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and shift our weight, keeping that knee and toe turned out. Shift your weight into a nice long lunge here. Reaching that arm up, I want you to see if you can keep shifting to the side so we can tap that leg. We're gonna lift, and lower. Just holding that upper body nice and still. Lengthen out through that extended leg. Core muscles are fine right here on that side. We got four more. Three, reach that tarp on out. Top arm out. Good. Hold it, flex through the foot. Let's make sure we get some nice ankle mobility. Circle your ankle. Four, three, two, reverse it for four, three, two, one step back out wide, side to side. Good, let's lunge and hold. Reach that top arm out, shifting your weight over more. Lengthen and lift that leg out and up. Good, keep reaching, finding your balance, working all those deep muscles in our feet and our ankles here that core. Good. Take this one up and hold it. Let's circle that ankle one direction. Four, three, two, one. Reverse it. Four, three, two, one. Let's take it back to that center grand plie again. Pressing down. Good. Now, as we extend the legs, see if you can give me just a little bit of a rotation. 
from that upper body. It doesn't have to be real big. And as you're pressing and extending your legs, don't lock out your knees here. I want you to think about really engaging through the quadriceps here, top of the thighs pulling up, pressing into that ball and that twist. Exhale, draw the ribs in closer to the spine. So this is detailed mental and physical work here. It doesn't look like anything crazy, but this is just really nice workout to do on an active recovery day in between higher intensity or effort workouts to help you get into those smaller, more intrinsic muscles that help with stability, supportive strength, so that when you go heavier and harder, you have what you need to perform strong and with great alignment. Let's pulse it front, good. All right, so let's keep moving on from here. We're gonna go back into that side leg balance. Once you just tap this toe, find your balance, reach that ball or just the arms away from you. We're gonna bend that knee across, pull, reach out and try to lift that leg away. So it's up and in, out and reach. You can keep the leg more low. You can tap the toe if you need to. Make this as big as you can. Reach. And you're gonna notice me wobbling, falling out of my balance a little bit too. That's okay. I'm certainly not perfect or a robot. Never expect you to be. Good. One more time. Good. Hold, let's take a nice big step, bringing the ball overhead to the other side. Feet come together. There's a great podcast I recommend. It's called Reasonably Fit. It's by two trainers that are really just looking to help you be just like that, reasonably fit. And I thought that was such a great way to put it, that's concept. I think we've gotten so used to thinking that fitness has to look a certain way, have six pack abs or a chiseled body. But really this is just about being reasonably fit so that we can be strong in our everyday life, have the energy and stamina we need for our everyday activities. Good. Let's take it back to that grand plie, pulsing just to set it up on the other side, a little transition move. Good. Switch it in out. We're gonna reach, hold, exhale, bring it in, cross to and out. So again, working balance, deep core stability and strength here. Cross. Okay. Four more like that. And if you guys have been working out with me for a while, you know sometimes these sneaky workouts become harder than they look. So hang in there with me, don't leave me yet. I got more core coming for you. Step tap, just take it front to back. Let's bring this foot forward. So we're gonna go into a little lunge position. You're gonna lunge to your own degree here. Make sure your feet are about hip width apart. We don't wanna make it harder to balance by standing on a tight rope. So we're just gonna take a little bit of a lunge position. Just a little pulse here. So it can be nice and small, just firing up those legs. Chest is lifted, because we're gonna add some rotation to this. Slow it down. We're gonna turn down into the lunge, inhale. Up. So we exhale, rotate, press into the ball. Inhale, feel those obliques. Now let's talk options. If it's really hard for you not to wiggle that front knee in and out and lose your balance, just hold the lunge at the top or the bottom. You don't have to come in and out of it. You don't always have to let, add every layer of complexity to every movement to make it work. Good. Again, reasonably fit is the goal here on this channel at least. Good. Exhaling. Keep going. Nice, strong twist. Exhale. You got it. Exhale. Stay with me. Do as many as you can with control. Nice. Good. Hold strong. Nice, now let's tap it out other side. We're gonna go right into the other side of that lunge. 
So we'll start setting up the lunge first. Find your lunge stance with your feet. Pulse it. Again, you can stay very shallow. Doesn't have to be large here. Focus on that front leg being your stability support here. Taking it down, two, and up. To exhale on that rotation. See if you can press into that ball but keep the ball right in front of your chest here. So it's not that I'm turning the ball. I'm gonna take my whole body with the ball as I twist. <sighs> Inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. If that's working for you, don't get too caught up in the breath. Sometimes we worry about breathing the right or wrong way. There's so many other things to think about, right? <laughs> so focus on what you need your attention on most right now. And maybe it's just on not letting your mind wander today, right? You stay in the moment, stay in the movement, keep breathing. Remember your option to hold that lunge stationary if you need to at the top or at the bottom. We got two more. Last time like that. Beautifully done. All right, let's step this leg over and across. I'm just gonna take the next set on a little diagonal so you can see it better. You can face straight on or to the corner. So just taking a break, readjusting, checking back in with our body and our posture. So we're gonna take a little hip hinge now, back to a lunge, but firing it more through the glutes and the back side of the body. We're gonna pulse it pulse right here. So I'm driving through my front heel, hinging back. Keep it out of that knee. Nice. Now just hold it down. We're going to take a rotation open to the side and down. So it's the same arm holding the ball as your leg is front. We're going to try to look over our shoulder. But if that throws you off balance, just keep looking down at the floor. Get some mobility in your upper back. You could come down into the lunge and up as you twist, but make sure that spine is staying nice and neutral and you can maintain your hip hinge position, whatever you choose to do. Open and down. Rotate as much as you can. Great job. So as we get into the movement, we stay with it for some repetition so you can start to really feel it, master it, get into your own expanded version of the movement. Good. Rotate through that back. Think of rolling that top shoulder open. Two more. Last time. Now stay with me here. We're gonna hold reaching that arm out with the ball and that opposite leg back. If you need balance, tap the foot. We're gonna balance, pulse it back slightly, reach. Reach, firing up all those muscles in the back side of the body. Ooh, I'm tipping over a little bit here. Press down through all five toes and heels evenly. Reminding myself that too right now. Four, four, three, two. Now from here, bring your body up, bend that knee, take the ball on top of that knee. We're gonna pulse, contract the abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your feet together, pulse it out. Stepping the back leg over, we're gonna switch the other direction. So just tapping it out. Step tap, just to transition sides. Tall posture, give that back a little break. Good. Hip hinge, find that pulsing lunge. So again, neutral spine. We don't want to round here. Sit back in the hips, drive through your heels so you feel those glutes. Good. Getting ready for that lunge and upper back rotation. Open and close. So again, you can add that slight level change from the legs or just focus on that upper back rotation. 
Really rolling that top shoulder open, drawing the shoulder blade back and in towards the spine. Open. Good, take your time. Feel each piece of that movement, of that rotation. Don't rush. Can you be in it? My favorite yoga teachers always used to say, every moment has a moment. Can you be in this one? Two more. And one more time. Nice, now let's balance. Reach that top arm, extend that back leg, oppositional reach, pulse it back. Feel those spinal extensors lengthen from the ball to that back foot. Work that balance. Four, three, two, try to keep that balance. Bend that knee, stand up tall, ball into that knee, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, great job, toe tap it out, nice. All right, so we're gonna get into the inner thighs a little bit because they are part of our core musculature too. So I want you to just go ahead and bring your feet about hip width apart, placing the ball or towel, whatever you're working with between your knees. If you don't have something, you can bring your knees all the way together. Just sit back into a hip hinge, little pulse, and just really think about squeezing into that ball, keeping that chest lifted. Hold it here, pulse that ball, squeeze. So check in with your upper back, make sure you're not rounding. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, drop a little lower, keep that tension in the ball. Down, slightly up, down, slightly up keep squeezing into that ball but don't roll your ankles inward two more now adding the arms take it down reaching up to the outsides of your ears to the best of your ability opening a little wider into a y shape at the top chin stays to our chest back of the neck is long feel those muscles in the upper back Four, three, two, hold the arms up, stay low, pulse it, last set, eight, seven, six, five. If your arms get tired, they can come to your thighs. Hold your squeeze, give me just that right knee in, eight, seven, six, five. Think one side at a time. Switch to your left knee, pulsing in for eight, it's subtle, but it's there. Four, three, two hands on your thighs, stand up. Ah, let's take a moment to come on down to the floor carefully. So we're gonna use that ball. If you have a pillow, you can fold it up or a towel. I want you to go ahead and find a spot that feels comfortable for you to extend back over. So just take a minute, extend your upper back over whatever tool you're using. Just breathe for a moment. Get back into your body. Feel the work you've been doing. Hands can come lightly to the back of your head. Give your neck some support. We're gonna very slowly curl up crunch for four, three, two, one. Now come back again, up four. Think of curling over the top of your rib cage. Nice and slow on the way up. So we come up for four, breathing out, contracting deeper into those abdominals, lower back, release. Curl up for four, three, go deeper, two, one. So if you want, you can place that ball a little lower on your back for more extension. If you need less, bring it more towards your upper back. 
And again, you might need to play with that position, seeing what's feeling best for you today. Again, slow. Stay up at the top of this one, nice and slow. Now tuck that tailbone slightly, pulse it in, in. Good, go deeper, don't push with your legs. How much further can you brace those abdominals in? So we have to start from that bracing foundation to deepen that contraction. Four more, three, two, you got it. Now let's roll that ball more under our front shoulder blade. So we're gonna turn to the side, just kind of let your legs drop slightly to the side. Now we're gonna really work on a nice rotation again through the upper back to cross over into our obliques. Up for two, down for two. Take your time. If dropping your knees torques your back at all, go ahead and just keep your pelvis more square to the sky and just cross over from there. Again, we're just always gonna stay mindful of your body's needs today and with every workout. Whether you're taking a class with me or another instructor, just stay responsible for your own body's needs. And always do what's best for you. I'm just here to make suggestions and guide you along, but I want you to make everything work best for you. Cross over, exhale, and inhale. Focus on those obliques. Feel that deep rotation. Yes, you're doing great. Up, two, and back. Almost there. Let's take this one up, hold it, reach across for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take a second to roll through to that other shoulder. Again, dropping the knees slightly to the other side if that feels okay for your back. Opening and turning through the shoulder. So again, thinking about curling up and over to the side here. Exhale. Knee with that shoulder, keep your elbow open. Just finishing up with some really concentrated core work here to wind up. Not really winding down because we're still working pretty hard here on that core. Good. Smooth, controlled range of motion. No pulling, no forcing. Bringing that strength from the inside out. Such a great metaphor for life, right? We try to force and make things happen. Sometimes they don't turn out as well as when we just go for that internal strength and wisdom and just let things flow the way they're supposed to go. Good, one more. Let's reach up and across for eight, seven, six, five. Leave with that shoulder. Four, three, two. Great job. Let's turn onto our side. Take that ball with you. You can just hold it in your hand or you can set it down. Moving into a side plank, we're going to turn the hand out if that feels better for your shoulder. I just like that position better. If you want to do this, whatever works. Bottom knee is gonna be bent. I want you to push away from the floor and really think about engaging underneath your armpit and your rib cage here. Press away, feel that engagement first. If you feel ready, that top arm could extend up, hold. Then we're gonna pulse and just lift slightly up. And again, I want you to push away from that bottom side. Push away from the floor with that bottom side. Lift, just think of a lift. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Let's lie face down. Working the back side of the body now. Again, core is 360 degrees. So we're not just focused on our abdominals. We're just gonna reach that ball out. You can place your hands on top of it. Press down, draw your shoulders down your back, extend your spine, squeeze your glutes. Maybe you're lifting your legs. Maybe you need to keep them down. Release down. So the core, the low back and the glutes work together. They're firing up at the same time working all those spinal extensors. And then if you're doing that slight pull in with your ball or pillow, also getting into the serratus here, drawing that shoulder, shoulder blades back and forth. Again, try to keep the back of your neck long. You can just look at the floor once you got it down. Exhale, draw up, extend from the floor. Don't worry about the height, worry about the strength. I want you to go for that nice, deep, controlled contraction. It doesn't have to come high off the floor to get all those muscles firing up. Smooth range of motion. Going for your own fullest expression of each movement today. Exhale. Good. Now we're just gonna take this one up and hold it. So I want you to pull down. Just squeeze it here for eight, seven, six, five. Feel that contraction, hold it, get deeper into it. Three, two, ah, oh, nicely done, float it down. Let's turn on to the other side to finish that other side plank. So again, you set up your arm in the way that feels best to your shoulder, focusing first on engaging, pressing away from that floor with that bottom side. Top arm may reach up. Bottom knee bent for support. Now lift higher, up, up. Just think of lifting. You don't have to think about going back down. Just come up a little bit higher. Good. For four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, let's turn it back onto the belly. We're just gonna take an elbow plank position. You could hold the ball or let go of it. If you're holding the ball, palms are up a little bit. Draw your elbows down towards your body. I want you to feel the back kicking in. Tuck your toes, scoop the belly off of the floor and start to draw your pelvis up from that contraction. So for this, if your hips are a little higher, that's better than being way down here and sticking to that low back. I want you to really get that solid contraction first. And then if you feel the need to extend the legs for more challenge, go ahead but better to even stay on the knees and keep a more solid, really strong contraction. Pull your elbows down, pull into the back, draw up and in with the belly. Stabilize, brace, breathe. Four, three, two, one more. Slowly and softly release it. Let's do one last set of those spine extensions just to wrap up. Last exercise, then we're done. Up for two, down for two. Again, draw the shoulders down the back. Trying to move those shoulders back and forth, the shoulder blades. <sighs> Extending away from the floor, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the low back. Again, you're going to your own fullest expression of the movement. Breathing comfortably, staying focused, staying present in your body, feeling the movement, feeling the muscles firing, feeling the strength and stamina you're building right now. We're laying the bricks for your solid, strong foundation. Hold it up. Eight, seven, six, Five. These are the muscles we need for our deadlifts. And release it. Nice. Great job. Let's just come up. You can set your ball to the side. Let's take a moment just to stretch things out. Hands and knees, rounding away from the floor. Really make some space between your shoulder blades. Mix in. I want to thank you for staying with me all the way through to the end here. Again, just remembering 
these different types of workouts can have a place in a balanced rotation. It doesn't have to be hard and heavy all the time. Those ebbs and flows in our training can allow us to get even more out of those more intensive days when we take these concentrated efforts, especially when we're tapping into those core muscles. From here, let's tuck the toes under, switch your hips back to your heels, lift your hips up and back. Keep your knees really bent here for me and let's pedal the heels one at a time to the floor. Spread your fingers wide, press your chest back to your thighs. Drop both heels down, let's walk the hands in towards your feet. Bend your knees more deeply, hands on top of your thighs, round chin to chest. Exhale, big arch, gazing up. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch, let's roll it all the way up to standing. Legs are extended, hands behind the hips. Extending back, think of going up and over a barrel here. Just realigning that spine. Two more to your own degree. Last time. Taking a nice deep breath in, circling through the wrists, coming down one last time, filling up your body with oxygen and energy for whatever is left for your day today. Circle it out. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Hopefully you're a little bit more aware of those core muscles. You're standing a little taller and a little stronger. Please keep up all the wonderful work you're doing, taking care of your body and your health. Can't wait to get moving with you again soon. Really quickly, I wanted to let you know that I now have an all access pass available, which gives you access to my entire library of workout programming and plans not available on YouTube. So you may have been working out with me on YouTube. I've got a whole library of workouts that I'd love for you to check out. Go to jessicasmith.fitness. The link is in the video description below. I'd love to have you join me for more sessions. Thanks guys. See you soon.